Hello everyone, I'm Baradactyl and welcome back to the adventures of Chad McKenzie. Not gonna lie, I have no idea where I left off last time. I hear a blizzard outside, so we're probably gonna... Gonna wait out the whole going out into the wilderness thing, you know? That's some lag, okay. Let's see. Is there anything I can just yeet away for the time being? Got the venison. If I recall, I, I packed a lot of stuff back up in my new base of operations earlier. Drop those off. Don't need those. I don't need more than one can. Lantern fuel is necessary. The whetstone is absolutely necessary. Tinder plug. I wish I had one of those in the real world right now. Finally, the well-fed benefit. Is there anywhere here I can sleep? No. Hmm. That's a... That is quite unfortunate. <laughs> hmm. Um... Can I just wait? Alright, let me check my stuff first. Did I say I would do a lore episode this episode? I don't remember. Oh, all these things. Yes, I know how to do all of that. I'm fairly certain... I read... Yeah, I need to dedicate an episode to reading these. Okay. Not gonna do it this episode. I will do it next, and I will leave a note to do it next episode. The only reason I'm not doing it this episode is bear with me. Get it. Is, uh... Yeah, that delay was because my brain stopped working for a minute. It's because I have some important stuff to do in my home and do not have... Well, time to sit down and read all that stuff right now. And I want to do stuff and things and actually progress, you know? I forgot how to wait. Let's see. You know, sprint starvation for 72 hours. You'll full energy. Carry more gear. Good. Oh, that 77 pounds is nice to see again. Oh. There is no way to just sit and wait, is there? Huh. Or is there, and I'm just stupid and forgot. Let me just, uh, let's see. Why is my computer spinning up here? Drop decoy? Auto walk, put away, la 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 la. Well. Oops, middle of the afternoon. I believe I can make it here to the camp office without completely dying. So, uh, well. I'm sure there's a way I could just wait. I could swear there was a way to just wait. Another is by an actual campfire. Eh. What's the phrase in for a penny? I will be right back because I am actually going to brave the storm. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I'm booking it. Let's see. So, okay. 
Uh, I gotta be careful with my stamina management though, so I don't like, you know, not have run when I, yeah, not have run when I need it. Good lord, my voice. But yeah, I think I will be right back. I'm gonna go ahead and get there and not bore you all with uh, a long trek. Okay, we have made it back to somewhere warm. And I now actually have the ability to carry things. Well, not carry things, like carry more, I guess, technically. So do I want to do that? I don't think I do. So let's see, retrieve the legend, the hunting lodge, okay. Which is all the way down south. I want to get the supply cache first, though. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sleep until the storm is over, which means I'm going to sleep for a day in game, probably. Which is perfectly fine. I wish I didn't have to sleep for a whole last day, but... Got to, to make sure I have enough daylight to do things. Yeah, game, I'm aware. I'm, uh. I'm thirsty. There we go. Let's also, uh. Eat the stuff that I packed specifically. Because it's calorie dense. I need to sleep 12, so probably 8 will work. Probably thirsty again when I get up, but that's fine. Perfect. 8 hours was like actually perfect. Spot on. Okay. Yeah, I knew I stored some stuff in here. Let's see. I should probably fish soon. What I need is food and water. Which is actually not an issue because, uh, well, I got those in my dusty pork and beans. Water is more of an issue than I thought it would be at this point, though. Because, uh, I'm going to be real. I thought there would be more toilets. That's a hell of a statement, isn't it? Whoop. Alright, so I need to go... Hmm. That might be a problem. Ah, that's not as much of a problem as I thought it was. That's a hell of a trick, I think. Oh well. In for a penny. I am gonna check out these fishing these fishing huts, so once again I will be right back.
Okay, so I did not see that wolf when I went over that embankment, so, uh... Yeah, you all just got to witness me nearly get annihilated. Thankfully, I have all the healing in the game. I also believe I hit the wolf with a crowbar. Which, for some reason, scares it and doesn't just outright kill it. Oh, for, I, I almost panicked because I thought those rabbits were wolves in the distance. Rabbits that I do not have, like, the heart to kill because they're rabbits. Okay, correction. I don't have the hill... Ah, not the hill. I don't have the heart to kill them with my bare hands. If I had a bow, I would probably wantonly slaughter the rabbits for the food value. Speaking of... I caught fish. That wolf did considerably less damage than I thought it would. Is there a cave over here? Yes. To my surprise, I don't think trees grow in caves. Oh, never mind. Cool. Oh, that's a cache. What do we have here? Oh, baby. Could be good to drink. Let's see. Let's all drink the soda because I need it. And I'm good. Okay, that is what I set out to do, is find that one cache. Also, some of the fishing hut stuff that I've noticed actually has like something requires a key to access is that a hunting boy that's a deer my inventory is too full to bother shooting it but oh hi oh I think I can use this I think you can use it too I will take the rifle car cartridge. Yeah, I'm not gonna murder a deer. I think I can get up through here. See, I stopped carrying my rifle, and the one time I stopped carrying it, I wound up needing it. I got assailed by a wolf. Though to be fair, that wolf came out of nowhere and there was no distance between me and it. I need to get around or get to a place of safety quick. Because, uh... Yeah, I'm in rough shape. Yeah, I'm not going to bother shooting the deer. Finally found a use for the painkillers that I had, and that was being mauled by a wolf. That might be a bridge covered in cars. Either way, the dam has places of safety, technically. So I should be good. And the extra carry weight and stuff is so nice. I'm sprinting more wantonly than I should be. Wow, there are a lot of deer. That is brightly colored. That is a dead man. Well, one man's misfortune. Is, oh, that's one of the convicts. Huh. And he had nothing. Anything under the bridge, maybe? Someone started to fire under the bridge. But it looks like they bit it. That's why they'd start a fire under the bridge when there's literally a building. Like, right around the damn corner here, I'll never know. 
like... Oh, no. Uh, slash. Okay. I am about to have a fucking stroke over these wolves. Oh, great. My clothes are actually damaged now. At least tell me nothing is ruined. God damn it. Half of my shit has been destroyed. Lovely. Underwear. To carry. I will be fine because I'm about to turn that stuff into like cloth, so. Uh, I hate wolves. They're getting their vengeance, I guess, but still. Hair. I'm glad I have sewing kits. Okay, what's it like? It's 70, that's fine. Any cloth here? Dog food, I guess. I'm gonna go to the one across the way. I'm over encumbered, so I'm at a bit of a risk, but... I think I'll be fine for a short walk across the way. Also, I'm just gonna, like carry my rifle at all times now because every time I put my rifle away I get mauled pillow break down um a sewing kit since I just used that one I do need that okay repair Let's see. Okay. Repair. As long as everything is like above 50%, I'm fine, I think. 60 ideally. That's fine. Okay. I recovered from all the wolf damage. Granola bar. Uh, this stuff will come in handy. Unfortunately, not really designed for warmth. They're leather gloves, dude. Have you never wore a pair of leather gloves? Can I attach? Can I wear them with my gloves? Okay. More defense. They're literally better in just about every way. <laughs> I'm going to wear the work gloves. And now I'm going to sleep for... 12 hours. I am having a rough time in this game right now. I'll drink the herbal tea. I'll eat the moldy ass beef jerky. And I will... Almost anything about now. Yeah, you will. And that's why you're drinking soda. Is it healthy? No. Does it get the job done? Yeah. Okay, the fish are still decent. It's better than I expected. Okay. Now we need a granola bar. I do genuinely really good with keeping a full stomach in this game, which is nice. What's the hit? The, f the fish are weighing me down, aren't they? Yeah, the fish are weighing me down. I can lose two pounds. What do I have that's two pounds that I could spare? Let's see. 
I guess I could drop my worst fish. Yeah, I'll drop it. Sit for two hours. And I should be good to go. Cool, gun time. Um, there's the door. No, it's the locker. Where's the door? <laughs> that will probably still be dark for you all. Even when I change it in post, because that was dark for me. So if that section seems overly dark... Eh, well, that's just intended. Well, I got the cash, so I guess I'm going to follow the railroad track. Make my way back uh, to where I need to go and progress. So, uh, yeah. They're hovering over the wolf that I killed. I can guarantee you that. Because the birds do flock around corpses. Huh. Speak of the devil. Since I have fish, I think I'm good. Oh, eventually I can craft clothes from the wolves and stuff. Just a wolf and some socks, okay. That's hilarious to me. But uh, I will be right back because I'm not going to bore you all with another long trek. This series has enough of those. Okay, so we're back here. I'm cooking fish after getting attacked by a wolf that I shot, I might add. I am kind of beyond irritated at that. So now we wait for the food to cook while I warm up. We're having to take a, a detour because of the wolves. And I am not happy with that. I'm about to go to war with these wolves. They're trying to get their revenge. But the difference between me and them is... I have a gun and they don't. If they had guns, there might be a problem. But they don't. It's not even noon yet. And I've been mauled by wolves. I almost froze to death. Now I'm just waiting for fish to cook. 
I really don't want this episode to just be a montage. So after this, I'm going to go toward my goal, which is here. This was a short chapter of this. This was the whole chapter. I've got the lake house key too, I guess, technically. Let's see. Let's see. I'm coming back to the trapper because he's working on the radio, so I don't think that's a point of no return. So I can come back and go to the... Like, different shack. I really need a gun cleaning kit, though, so I can repair this gun. Like, let's see, it's condition... 49. So every shot drops it by one, it looks like. Alright, I'm cook my whitefish, damn it. So yeah. Status? Not as good as it could be. Take. Okay. Well, I'll be right back because I'm going to cook some more fish. Yeah, not this time. I can carry 10 pounds. You know what that means, Wolfie? Yeah, you know what that means. Mine. I like that I have found such a set of warm clothes that I don't get cold unless it's blizzarding anymore. In fact, I keep warming up. Let me just, uh... Yeah. Hmm. 
leave Mystery Lake. And here we go. Wait. For a second, I thought we were back in uh, the other place. I can't remember the name of the town, no. But this is definitely a new place. Old Spence family. Or am I on the way back? I am. I do think I need to get to this building now because... Uh, I really have to end this episode, even though, if, even if it's just more of a me running around and doing things episode. With chill music and not a, not a lot of commentary, just, just, just me being mauled by wolves. Excuse me, I now have the hiccups. Lovely. But I will say I've hit, like, a point of critical mass where I just don't get cold anymore. Which, honestly, that is A-OK -okay with me. Also, that is one wolf down. There's two more to take care of. Actually, I think i got to get to the farmstead if I want to, like, stay warm. But I'm going to try to get to this tower to see if there's at least somewhere in it. I'm definitely going to need some wood. I'm definitely going to need to, like, actually... Yeah, hey, Mackenzie, I know you're tired. I don't have time to break stuff. To just snap the branch with your hands. Like, it's just a tree branch. It's really not that hard to break. Believe me, young me... Use them as swords. Gather some sticks, though, because, you know, it's better than nothing. All right. Just, just some peaches laying? Okay. If that sounds like a complaint, that is not a complaint. That is me being actually quite ecstatic. I find the lack of wolves to be mildly disturbing, though. Not altogether unpleasant, mind you. Just disturbing. I did not kill this deer. Yeah, it looks like a wolf's, uh, snapped into this bad boy. I would imagine that out in the cold like this, a lot of stuff might genuinely be safe for consumption. Given, like, I don't think bacteria and stuff can survive being frozen for the most part. Do not take survival advice from me, by the way. I am just a bear. A bear playing video games. Mind you, I do have survival training, but, like... You still shouldn't take my advice on that. Unless it's something that I really, really do know, like... Starting a fire and so on. Like, actual wilderness survival stuff. You should always carry, like, tin foil. Or, I guess, aluminum foil. It's not tin anymore. I don't know why... I, I, whatever. Point being, you should always, like, carry a single battery... And some foil, whether it be a gum wrapper or whatever. Because you can, in fact, use that gum wrapper slash foil in that battery. Okay, this is actually kind of irritating. To start a fire in a pinch. Oh, so I'm going to have to go all the way around. That's stupid. 
either let me always break these rules or never let me break these rules. That is no in-between game. What accent was that? I have no idea at this point. I just, I just roll my tongue in ways and see where the accents fly when I do stupid voices. So if I offend anyone on accent, I apologize. I'm not going for anything in particular. I am literally just making stupid voices because I can. A sprain? Oh. Fun. I may as well eat that. Since you know I have some fresh meat from wolves that I mold. The only reason... And I'm going to this tower because the map indicates that there might be something in here to get into. And I hope that's the case, or I am dead. I mean, I'm not dead, I can just... Unironically, just make a campfire. But... Still game, don't deceive me. The Muskig Overlook. I have been deceived. Hmm. I feel like I will eventually be back here. I came up here for nothing. I'll be back here, I can tell you, based on that important looking button. Yeah, no, I'm at a sprain risk. Let's see. It's because I'm tired. Oh, may as well eat more fish. Game? I can get to the farmstead, which is just across this lake. I'm pretty sure I should be fine. Can I know? That's not worth the shot. The fact that I'm so tired actually is kind of my main point of concern right now. Not necessarily anything else. Because the more tired you get, the more the amount you can carry drops. And, uh, that's bad. Okay, found a place I can drop off. And ironically, I have to get across this damn lake. Uh, drink some water since I actually need to do that. And that should drop a few pounds. Wow, that's dropping fast. Oh, game. That's not how being tired works at all. This is a... I really should have napped before going through the cave, but the game gave me no indication whatsoever that I might be stuck like this. Okay. Mad dash it is. I would kill for... I have coffee. Okay, this might not be as bad as I thought. Uh, let's see. I need tinder. Oh, great. And there's nothing around to be tinder, is there? Oh, game. Oh, wish I had something for Tinder. If I could find some, uh, what are they called? Cattails? I can use those as Tinder. So maybe I'll find them while crossing the lake? Oh, I'm in a rough spot. I may have boned myself. I'll be right back.
Hi, I fell into the water and I'm dying. I did not know that was a risk. And it seems kind of a dick move to make that a I might just die. So yeah. Just a just a short update. I'm gonna consume these two things. And from here, try and make it to a safe place. Nightfall is almost here, so that's like kind of unlikely. But yeah, be right back. Okay, after all of that, it looks like I have actually found a place to be able to take a break. Complete with bed. bed that I might die in, apparently. Because there's nowhere to actually make a fire. Because I need tinder. The cloth. Uh, what can I do? Get? I can still eat this. Counts as tinder. Newsprint, I have tinder. A forge. Oh. That's nice. So I am going to build a fire. Oh, huh, there's nowhere to build it. Okay. Guess if I could build the fire there. Huh. If there wasn't a blizzard, this would be fine. There's currently a blizzard. 
That is what is getting me killed. If the blizzard would calm down, I could actually sleep in game and be fine. Or if I built my fire like slightly closer. Break that down. Does that help? No. Okay, so that's cool. So what I'm going to do is add fuel to the fire. Six hours, eight, ten hours, okay. So I'm going to sleep for eight hours in game. Or what? Yeah, eight hours. That way there will still be fire burning. I will be thirsty, but that's fine. No, I'm not overly thirsty. And the blizzard has stopped, it looks like. Add fuel. Brainer's keeled. Sleep. As long as I, like, cheese it and sit right here in the corner, I'm good. About four hours. This should be morning or damn close to morning. This has been a long episode. By the way, I'm gathering coal because coal is very useful. As has just been proven. And all the firewood gone. Ooh. I like that. I like that a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Ooh. Yeah, I'm wearing those. Oh, baby. Oh, that's nice. Yes. Oh, it looks like I am close to... Not okay. I'm gonna drink this. I'm just going to eat the cold peaches. Just to get them eaten. And I'm going to drink the cold coffee. I do not have any potable water. Which means I... How long is this fire going to burn? Four hours. Okay. Nope. I'm going to stop it here. Because I'm going to keep playing if I don't, and it's way too late. It is currently 2.33 in the morning. I've been recording a while, so all that aside, this has been a long trial and tribu a long trial and tribulation. This has been a difficult episode. I got revenge on one wolf. This farmstead is gone. So yeah. I could have put fire in the furnace. Hmm. Either way. As always, thank you all for watching. Hope you're enjoying the series. Hope you enjoyed this episode, even if it's a bit dull and there's a lot of fast-forward segments. But, uh, yeah, the adventures of Chad McKenzie. If you're enjoying your stay, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know the drill. Helps me out. YouTube might notice me. Same spiel as usual. Feed the algorithm, you know? The almighty algorithm. This is Baradactyl signing off, and I'll see you all later.